how to set up a window door schedule in Revit, how to do it in an easy and simple way. So today I'm going to teach you all you have to know while making window door schedule in Revit. But before that, I really encourage you to like this video since it motivates me to make such kind of videos twice a week. I'm a banner as for an architect, interior designer and 3D artist. So let's get started. I will start with the model I have right here. You can follow along with any kind of model you have. So the first thing we are, go we are going to do is we are going to search for schedules in project browser and uh, we are going to set up a new schedule. So this new schedule should be a door category. Therefore, we are going to search for a door. There it is. A door. So we are going to select this door schedule and continue. So there are available fields which we have to select. From these fields, we are going to select six to seven fields. The first one will be the family and type category. Therefore, this field should be included. The second one is the type mark. So we are going to search for a type mark. There it is. So we are going to include this one. And the third one will be function. So we are going to search for function. There it is. So we will include this one. And the fourth one, we are going to search for a width. So there it is, we are going to include this one also. And if it is height, so we are going to search for height. Yeah, there it is, we are going to include this one also. And also the sixth one will be count. We, uh, we need to count them. And the last three, we are going to include level. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. And we are going to do some sorting. And this sorting should be based on the type mark, the doors hub. Therefore, we are going to make it a footer. And that this should be title, count, and totals. Now you are going to do the window door schedule now. Okay, this is the window door schedule which Revit has made us. This is a uh, text description of the window door schedule we have. This is not a uh, graphic description or drafting. This is just a text description. We are going to edit and use as a reference for our window door schedule we are going to make. So this information is, will be used to make such kind of uh, window door schedule. And this such kind of window door schedule is made in legend. So we are going to see this. So let's search for legends in project browser that is in legends. We right click and we make a new legend. The skill should be uh, whatever you like. So we are naming it door schedule. The scale should, the scale is one to fifty. The default scale. So since I have a pre-made door schedules, I'm going to copy the text and the, the, the lines descriptions from the previous or uh, one which I have made earlier. Therefore, so I was. Uh, so that I don't have to make it again. So we are going to copy it and paste it in our legend. So we are going to copy it in our legend. Here it is, paste it. Okay, there it is. Uh, it's a really a simple thing. You can do it by yourself using annotation detail lines. So we are going to copy this element four or five times for each door. Of course, you are not going to do all the doors we have. Once you got the idea of one or two, you can do it in your liking, how many doors you have in your project. But before that, what you should be doing is changing the type markers of each door, like naming it D1, D2, or D01, D02. That's up to you so that we can distinguish them. So we have finished, there are six types of door types. In Legends, you go to Annotate tab. If you are in another tab, you go to Annotate tab, there is a component. In Components, you know, click that drop down button. There is a Legend component. So it is like a little X, you place it. Then when we click that X, we are going to see a pop-up of on the upper ribbon. So we are going to search for our door. 
So that's why I said we are going to use this window.schedule as a reference. So we are going to slide it up a bit to see the full formation of the family and the type. So the first ZD1 is a missing flesh type door, which is 762 millimeter by 262 millimeter. As we get to our legend, we click that X we just created and we are going to search for there it is, a missing flesh, therefore there it comes. Then we are going to edit the host links. So the host links is the links of the wall. Therefore, we are going to increase it around 1.5 meter. And there it is. There is the plan of our door schedule. Okay. So let's move it up onto the plan side. Okay. Yes. So let's copy it toward the elevation. There is a view which in the floor plan to the elevation, front or back, as you're liking. So there it is our plan and our elevation of our dua so that this that this is it this is the way you create a window or a door schedule we are going to see about the window later but this is how you create a door schedule in revit so we are in later we are going to see how to put them in sheets we are also going to see that but this is mainly the but this is the way to create a door schedule in Revit. So if you wanted to add some dimensions to it, you can add some dimensions to it. Like this one, it is 76 cent. So we are going to change the types, the size, the material, the location, and the quantity of the door. So this will be the one. Yeah. So we are going to leave it like that. And in terms of dimension, it is 76 centimeters. So we are going to change to 76 centimeter by 203 centimeter. Yeah, just like that. It's a wooden door. Yeah. And the places, as we can see, the place on JFL ground floor level. So we set that into ground floor. Yeah, just like that. Okay. So it is so this is the main way to create the door schedule in Revit. So you can copy it and make you can copy it and edit on how many type of doors you have. So okay, let's make the D2 for us so our D2 is uh, M single fresh 915 by 2032. So there it comes. That is D2. And we are going to copy it toward elevation. So in order to make the front elevation. Yeah, there it is. So we are going to the front view. Yeah. Okay. So if you want to add some dimensions to it, you can just do that. By coming here and clicking, there it is, 92 centimeter by 92 centimeter by 203 centimeter. So, like the previous, we are going to change, edit the type mark values or the text descriptions of the door. So, it is 92 centimeter by 203 centimeter. And we're also going to change the location. The location is on the ground in the first floor. So we set it into ground to first floor. And the quantity is six. So we are going to change that also. We are going to change it to six. There it is. You can continue on how much doors in your model. D3, D4, D5, D6, D7. As long as you have, you can continue like that. So let's move into a window schedule. If you are schedule. enjoying the content, to a window schedule, you are subscribing and you are going to click of family where you get and set kind of up for new schedule. And now we are going to search for we... window. I think it is in the bottom side. So there it is, windows. So we are going to set up a window schedule. Like the previous, we are going to insert some available filters. The only change will be 
we are going to change the function into acyl hate. So it is the acyl hate is important for Windows. So import acyl hate, import the width, import the height. Yeah, just like the previous one. It's almost the same as the previous one. So import the height, import count, please count, yes, there it is. Import it and also label. So we are done. We are going to go sorting like the previous. We are going to use type mark, the footer, and the title count, and totals. That is it. There it is a Windows switch. We are only having two windows in our model. So we are going to rename the type mark like the previous W1 window 1 and W2 window 2. So after doing this, we will go to legends. We are going to create a new legend. We window schedule, but rather than creating any, we will duplicate the door schedule and use that for a window schedule since it will minimize our time. Okay, let's rename it, rename it window schedule. Okay, let's delete the doors we have. We are going to need them anymore so they are going to delete them and let's leave the information like this we are going to change it after we import our legend component okay so here is the legend component we click it and we search for our windows okay let's refer from the window schedule we have the window one type is okay let's try to save it to exactly now it's okay so here it is M window double hang 650 by 1100 millimeter. Okay. There we came back to our legend. Click it. We are going all the way down to the bottom search for the windows. Okay. There it is 650 by 1100 millimeter. Okay. There it is a plan. We are going to increase the host language for the walls to pop out more. Okay. Yeah. Just like this. So we are going to drag it to the plan view. Just like that. Okay. So copy it toward the elevation to create the elevation. Click it, change the view from plan view to elevation view. A front elevation or back as you're liking. So this is it. And it is nearly the same with a door schedule. It's just searching what you have and using that reference. And by the way, if you can't make a uh, dimension like this one, if it, if it is not, if it's not allowing you to create a dimension, just draw a detail line, thin detail line. So it, you can use them as a reference. Just like this, let's create dimension now. There it is, the reference. So can just do this one it's 65 cent and measure out in elevation to 65 cent by 50 cent so this window 65 cent by 50 cent okay so we are going to change the information we got so the type will be window one the size 65 cent by 50 cent For the material is to take this one and write six millimeter aluminium frame with four millimeter thick clear glass. Okay, so as you can see the text is so long that it's covering the location part, so we are going to lower it down the whole thing we are also going to go down the quantity and the pieces just like this or to the location yeah so the line yeah just like this is better now ok 
apparently this is it. Let's do the second window and after that I'm going to show you how to place them in a sheet. Our second window type is window casement double transform, 34 by 36 inch. Okay. Let's search for it. There it is at the bottom line. It is here. Okay. So we are going to increase the host links in order to include more walls. Yeah, it's like this. It's better like this. Okay, we are going to copy it to our elevation. Now, and we are going to change the view from floor plan to front. Yeah, it's like this. So we are going to add some dimensions to it. Yeah. So we'll be changing the type. The type should be window two. And the size is 100 and 47 cent by 120 cent so if you have any doubt on to the dimensions or you haven't made the dimensions correctly just refer back to the window schedule you got so the so width is 150 and the height is 120, therefore let's, let's rearrange that dimension here. Yeah, let's change to this bottom line, okay? Yeah, skating. I've made a mistake while making that dimension, therefore let's correct it. Just like this, yes, it's 150 by 120. Okay, so always changing the materials like the previous, we are going to change the material. Let's delete this we have here and let's copy that from the window. So we are finished setting up the door schedule and the window schedule and we are going to delete the rest so we don't need any we have two window types so the next we'll be placing the mini sheet so let's come to the sheet yeah let's create any sheet you can load any kind of sheet if you, if you have a specific sheet Otherwise, let's do the default. We have a one metric sheet, so let's open it. Yeah, there it is. So this is a sheet, and what we are going to do is a simple drag and drop from the legends. We are going to drag and drop the door schedule. Yeah, just like this. And uh, if you don't want the title, you can avoid it by using no title. And also let's drag and drop the window schedule. Yeah, just like this. And again, let's change it toward no title. So since we are going to give it the drawing, the shitty title, we don't need to have a title for each schedule. So it's pretty like this. And by following these steps, you can create something like this one I have already made. So let's, uh, so you can create something like this by using the methods and techniques I have shown you. It is it for this video. I hope you get something valuable and it will help me a lot if you like, subscribe and hit that bell. So you will never miss out new videos.